welcome my friends. Today I have a, an upper body hatha yoga practice for you. So this will tend to your upper back, your shoulders, your chest. Go ahead and have two yoga blocks nearby. These will be for the end of our practice. And go ahead and place them at the back of your mat. All right, my friend, we are going to begin today's practice in a comfortable cross-leg seated position. Just sitting up nice and tall. Eyes gently closed or a soft gaze forward. Just draw your awareness to your upper back, your chest, your shoulders, and just noticing how this space feels as we begin our practice. Breathing in and out your nose, slow, steady breath. Just taking note now so we can compare at the end of our practice so we can notice the effects of the practice. Just slowly make your way to hands and knees. Line your wrists underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hip points. Spread those fingers nice and wide. And we're just going to flow through some cat cows. And since this, since this practice is focused on the upper body, go ahead and accentuate your cat and your cow in the upper body as you flow. Take these at your own feel-good pace, breathing in as you lower the belly, exhaling as you round the spine out. Let's find your neutral spine. Thread the needle pose. So on your inhale, inhale your right fingertips up to the sky. Big breath in. Find expansion. Exhalation. Thread the arm through over to the left side. Ground that right shoulder to the earth. Taking your gaze to the left side. Now with your left hand, you can extend the palm out long. Make tent with your finger to help stack your shoulders, find openness across your chest, or you can take that hand behind your low back. Explore the different variations and find what feels best in your body today. Once you have your body's variation with that left hand, go ahead and take a moment to line your hips over your knees. Oftentimes they may splay over to the left side. Turn to those soothing breaths. Space between shoulders and ears. and return that right palm to the mat underneath your shoulder. Big breath in as you unwind, extending your right fingertips up to the sky. Exhalation to lower, grounding the right palm. We'll take it right over to the second side. So breathe in, left fingertips up to the sky. Find that expansion. Exhalation, thread the arm through over to the left side palm. Face up, ground that left shoulder, left side of the face. Find your body's variation with that right arm. And then once you have it, line your hips over your knees and just notice how that subtle shift in your hips, finding that alignment, how that changes the sensations. Remember to find space between your shoulders and ears. So you might need to rock forward just a little bit.
and slide that right palm underneath your shoulder. Big breath in to unwind, extending the left fingertips up to the sky. Exhalation, ground the palm. Puppy pose next, so ensure that your knees are underneath your hip points and then just slide those palms forward to melt your heart to the earth, grounding the forehead. The armpits yearn towards the earth. Your torso drapes. On your exhalations, bring your navel back to your spine to help protect your lower back. And just send that in breath up through the length of your spine. And on the exhalation, invite your heart to melt closer to the earth. Ground down through your palms to lift up just enough to slide yourself forward, coming to your forearms, lowering your torso to the earth. Take a moment and rock those hips side to side. And then we we'll align your shoulders over your elbows, forearms running parallel, pressing down through that space to lift up through your shoulder girdle. Gently pull your heart center forward as you send your shoulder heads back. Shoulder blades glide down your back. Then go ahead and lengthen your tailbone to the space between your heels. Gently pressing your pubic bone down into the earth. Soft smile upon the face. Breathing in and breathing out. Deep breaths in, slow releasing breaths out. soften forward press down through your palms to send yourself back melting hips to heels for a moment in child's pose just rounding out that spine nice counter pose to our back bends maybe rock those hips side to side if you'd like let's breathe in on the exhalation, round forward, tuck your toes, lift your hips, release the body back into downward facing dog. Spread those fingertips nice and wide, down, down through your knuckles, your fingertips. Press away, taking the weight off your wrists. Send your chest through center, towards your thighs. Pedal those feet, sinking one heel to the earth and then the other. Breathe 
breathing in upon the switch, exhaling as you sink the heel. Beautiful. Find stillness. Inhale your right toes up to the sky. Exhalation, step the foot through. Soften the back knee to the mat. Low lunge, so line your knee over your ankle. Feet on two separate tracks. And on the inhalation, we'll circle the fingertips up to the sky. Low lunge. Keep those back toes tucked. Taking eagle arms in our low lunge. So let's breathe in, send the arms wide, lift the heart. Exhalation, send your arms through center. Right arm on top, bind your arms once, sending the back of the palms together, or bind them twice so palms come together. Lift the elbows towards the sky, press the hands away, and then let's soften chin to chest. We'll hold it here. If you need a heel, tilt your foot a little wider for more solid foundation, feel free to do so. And gently hug the thighs towards one another. Soften through the shoulders, down away from your ears. Eagle arms can be a very intense pose. So take those deep breaths in, sending the in-breath into any areas of tightness or tension you may be feeling. On the exhalation, visualize that tightness, that tension releasing from your body. Letting go, inviting softness and ease into that space. Take a moment to soften the head once more. I know I find that I tend to tense it back up with the longer holds. Beautiful. Let's take a big breath in, unwinding the arms nice and slow, expanding, lifting the heart. Exhalation, lower the hands to frame the front foot. Tuck the back toes, press up. And we'll step that front foot back to downward facing dog. moment in down dog, intuitive movements here. Find stillness and we'll inhale your left toes up to the sky. Exhalation, step the foot through. Soften the back knee to the mat. Ensure your front knee is in line with the ankle, not going past. And then when you're ready, we'll inhale your fingertips up to the sky. Taking our eagle arms, big breath in, send the arms back in space, lift the heart. Exhalation, the arms through center, this time the left arm on top, binding once or binding twice. I should have shared on the first time that you can also clasp opposite elbows. Lift the elbows to the sky, press the hands away, and then soften your head through center, chin to chest, space between shoulders and ears. Not forgetting about the alignment of the lower body, so hug those thighs towards one another. And find a space of stillness. Connecting with your breath. Using your breath to release any tightness or tension you may be feeling here. Slowly breathe in to unwind the arms with loving kindness. Open them wide, lift the heart, breathe in. Exhalation, hands lower to frame the front foot. Tuck your back toes, press up. We'll step the front foot back. 
You can take downward facing dog or take a flow, whatever the energy of you needs here and now. I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Final down dog, so take any feel good movements here, any breath work. Soften the knees to the mat. Bring your feet off to one side to bring your legs out in front of you. And let's go ahead and come into our final pose, which will be supported fish pose. Line your one block horizontal. This is where your spine will rest you in between the space of your shoulder blades. And take another block to where your head will rest you. Now keep that on the lowest setting. And go ahead and lower yourself to your props. You may need to adjust as you lower. and the lowest one for your head to rest too. So your chest is gonna be a little higher. You extend one leg out long and then the other. If you'd like to take a butterfly pose variation with your legs, feel free to do so. Arms at your side and slowly lift your arms overhead, pausing whenever you feel the feel good sensation. One arm may lift higher than the other depending on their level of flexibility. And then hold it there. Soften through the heart center. Give your weight over to your props. Let everything go here. Feel that expansion across your chest, your collarbone. Feel the sensations traveling down your arms. Elongating your inhalation and elongating your exhalation as you hold. Let the mind be at ease. Very slowly fan your arms back down. And your forearms, so they run alongside your body, press down through the forearms, lift up very slowly, chin to chest, and remove the props one at a time, setting them off to the side. Then go ahead and lower yourself back. One at a time, hug your knees in. Give yourself a squeeze and maybe rock it side to side. And find stillness, just hugging your knees in. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Release your feet to the earth. Extend one leg out long and then the other. 
arms alongside your body, taking up as much space as you'd like. And just take five to 10 breaths here, letting everything go, allowing the nutrients of your practice to settle into mind, body, and spirit. So leaving one solo foot to the mat, and then the other, roll over to the right side. Let your bicep cradle your head. Let's breathe in. And release and breath out. With your eyes closed and attention remaining in it, make your way to a comfortable cross-leg seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. Letting the head over the heart, heart over the pelvis. Eyes gently closed or a soft gaze forward and let your hands fall wherever they may. And drawing your attention within, into the space of your upper body, your back, your shoulders, your chest. Noticing how this space feels now compared to when we first stepped on the mat together. Take a moment to thank yourself for your beautiful practice, attending to that upper body, that self-care, self-love time you dedicated to yourself, to your well-being. Let's breathe and circle your fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light. Palms kiss and bring all that love and light down to your heart center. Bring thumbs to your sternum, sternum reaching up to your thumbs to seal the love and light within. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a comment below. Throw the video some love with a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please take a moment now to subscribe to our channel to help support our work in making yoga free and accessible to all my friends. And if you haven't yet, check out our Awakened Members site, which is on YouTube. You can just click the join button below. There are yoga series, yoga challenges, and so much more within there. We have 365 days of yoga, so practice for every single day of the week. That's based on uh, yoga with the season, so you can flow with the seasons. All right, my friends. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Hope to see you on the mat again soon. Bye-bye. Sweet puppy. Sweet puppy. Osita. Thanks, big girl. Thanks, girl.